Hello everyone, it's Van Berman here. Welcome to the Man of the Match Alaya episode. So, the Man of the Match Alaya came out, and as you probably all know, I like to go out and buy all the special Dutch players that I can. I've only, there's only two, I think, that I don't have, and that's Man of the Match Depay and Inform Robin, because they're both ludicrously expensive. So, Man of the Match Alaya's come out, and I've obviously bought him, and this is what the video is going to be on, but I was just wondering why he got the Man of the Match card in the first place. Honestly, I didn't know. But I've gone and looked it up, and here's the reason why. As you can see, a really, well, amazing skill run there, taking a pass to player, and he got a bit lucky, I think, in off the post, but, you know, the goalkeeper really, I think, should have done better. You don't get any near post, but they did. Feyenoord won the Dutch Cup, and uh, for his goal, Elias got man of the match for that, which I think is really good. And as you can see now, this is his man of the match card. So I have played a couple of games. The person I bought off also played a couple of games. One goal, one assist in two games. So just, not too bad, just trying him out. I bought him for 47,500 coins. He sort of fluctuated a bit on PlayStation 4. He was as low as about 30-something, but I've seen him going for 60-plus as well. But your mileage will vary. Four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. And I'll be honest, he's not all that impressive, really, for an 80 overall card. He's, he's okay. I've uh, given him a catalyst chemistry upgrade, so pace and passing. Just obviously going to try and burst down the wing with him as much as possible. And I've thrown him into this team right here, as you can see. I tried to put as many of his phonoid teammates in as I as I can that I do have in the club. So, we've got a couple of good ones there. We've got Kaut and we've got Gustafsson as well. Gustafsson or Gusta Gustafsson? I don't know. Anyway, these are all, this is a pretty, 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 pretty good team. That many pretties, but... Um, so yeah, we're going to get into a match and we're going to see how Man of the Match Alive performs. So one, well, this is the first game, this is a team we're coming up against. Oh. Okay then. Well, alright, fair enough. Um, He's got Lewandowski, Griezmann on loan and... Oh, I want to say, it's not, I don't know. I'll get that name wrong if I try and pronounce it, so... I'm not really sure what this guy's up to but he's probably going to beat me if he's got such a rubbish team and he wants to play or he's just going to quit straight away or or something like that I don't know we'll find out anyway so off we go oh. oh and there we go 1-0 and hands out to the sky two minutes in that was well I don't know almost too easy yeah he just his defence opened up and then Slide it through. Milic. Ooh. Dirk out. Near post. Godardo. Oh. I don't think it feels a little bit shallow though, to be fair, but... Oh well. Hello, he's not had a look in yet. He's over on that other wing. Not doing a whole lot, so... Oh, there we go. Elia is free. Got Milic in the middle. Easy, 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 easy. I mean, it's not really indicative of a liar at all. I doesn't want to know. Oh, there he is. But yeah, it's still a, it was a good run, and you got to put the ball in there, I suppose, to score it. And uh, Milic just gets a long leg on it there. Liar! Oh, 
Uh, oh well, here we go again. 5-0. This is um, a little bit embarrassing now. Well, it's half time. I keep thinking this guy's going to... I mean, look at those stats. It's just stupid. He has a more possession though, but... Although, the problem is it makes you not play as well. Anyway, let's go in the second half. Let's score another five. Let's go. Zivkovic! Always love it when my man scores. My man Zivi. Or whatever his name is. He's quite hard to stuff. See if we can bend one in over there. Oh no. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I was aiming for the other corner, but. is in and he's in and he scored yeah I mean the fact that he's got such a no offence because he's a professional footballer but poor keeper relatively and he's just hit the keeper and gone in at least Elias got himself a goal I suppose that's the main thing but uh... Zivkovic Zivi Oh, Elias through. And he set him up. The dirt cow to finish it. Put it away. Feanoid to Feanoid. And... Yeah. What are do? Line it up. Half volley! Guadano! It's difficult to get really infused about scoring 12 goals in a game. It's just... It's just silly. Okay, finally. That's the match. Oh, well, um, all of my players pretty much got over 8. So, yeah. Uh, what did I get? He got 9.5, which... Pretty good, I suppose. Not so good in relation to the rest of the players. He got a goal, three assists. So, yeah. Pretty good performance. On to match number two. So, match number two, we're coming up against a... Something side. Uh, he's got Kishner in there. He's got Ambrat. Uh, he's got some other players. He's got that guy beginning with M that plays for uh, Villarreal. That can't be his name. Seems like a Spanish... Sort of? No. Not even, don't know. A something team. That's there you go. He is called Skills FC, so I'm expecting a lot of yeah skills. Yeah, okay, we are going to get a lot of skills. Ah, I love playing against people who do skills. Not. Go Milik. Oh. I love scoring against skillers. I love scoring against skillers. Because they annoy me so bloody much. You know what? If you want to annoy me when playing FIFA, just bloody try and skill me the whole time. God. Don't get me wrong. A bit of skill is fine. If you can incorporate it so you make yourself more penetrating and difficult to get the ball off of, then yeah. Brilliant. Amazing. You know, you're a better player than I am. Come on, liar. Come on. Ref! Come on. Penalty. You going off. You going off. I hate these players, man. I hate these players. 
Can he give it to a light? Oh, he's already got it. No, drill it. Bottom left. Because that's where he wants me to go. Too late. Lovely. Beautiful goal. Elias going to go to the camera. You can see his beautiful neck tattoo. <laughs> but yeah, he's there. Nah, I just died way too late for that. 2-0 then. This guy's just going to do skills the whole game. So... Not actually going to play any sort of passing game or anything, it seems. Oh. And now he's quit. Well, 2-0 up. All well, that guy obviously was skills. He didn't get any shots off. Passing next was okay. But other than that, match number three. Alright, let's get into match number three. He's got a... Portuguese league team? No. Yeah, well, Portuguese, some Portuguese players. Uh, a bit of French league in there, actually. Yeah, it's more French league, sorry. Uh, it's got Ben Arthur. It's got Nani. Interesting team. To see how this one plays, I suppose. Oh, a liar. Go on, find him. Elia! Oh, yes! Lovely. Lovely 1-2 there with someone. I want to say Ayo, but I'm probably going to be wrong. Let's have a look. No, Guardado with the pass. Lays him off. Beautiful rip into the top corner there. He's not really done a huge amount in these few games. But the one thing he is, he's a threat. If nothing else, he's a threat, so... Oh, he's gone in. Come on. Ah! Uh, come on! <sighs> Kazdorf couldn't catch up with him. I don't know how quick this guy is, but... Wow, we should have got rid of that. Oh, what a ball. Liar through. Oh! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what he gives you. Like, I know a lot of pacey players will give you that pace and everything, but he's got that little bit in the final third. There. Like, when it comes to that last burst of pace, He's just about got enough. Just about. Not quite like the Abamyang. He's not the Dutch Abamyang, as I said, but. Not bad either. Him and Narsing on either wing would cause stupid amounts of difficulties, I can imagine. Bazaar. Ah, oh, I wanted a huge across the field ball to allow them, but there we go. Three wins out of three. Alaya gets the winner. Actually, I got both goals in this game. Obviously, I was trying to preferen preferentially use him over the other players, but some two pretty good goals in that game, especially the second one. Um, bit fortunate, but there you go. Let's have a look at the match stats. So, actually, probably had more chances than me. 50-50 possession. Um, yeah, I'd say we're, we're probably lucky to get that one. A draw would have been a fairer result in that one. But there you have it guys, thank you much for watching the Man of the Match Alara episode. Is he worth the coins? No, blatantly not. Um, you can pick up Narsing, he's alright, he's not an 80, he's 77, but he will, he's got a bit more pace about him. Not quite as good passing and dribbling stats, but gets a job done in my opinion. He's the same, same level as Narsing, so. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed the episode. Thank you very much for watching guys, and I will see you all on the next one. Goodbye.